Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and after building the sifter and doing my initial video, I wanted to show you a regular bin. So the other ones I had kind of like predetermined were good bins to sort through. This is one that I've just had sitting for a while. I tried to get most of the worms out of it through, uh, you know, baiting methods, and it's just ready to be sifted. I think not all the material's done, but it's not a bin that has really been structured, ready to go specifically for sorting. This is just one of my random bins that I have in my basement instead of one that's been, you know, sort of dry and has special materials such as the cocoa choir or hardwood pellets. It's not, it's one that's been run off of my uh, cardboard. So let's go and take a look and see how this one does. Now it is on the drier side. I'm not sorting any that's really wet, but I just want to see how this works on this sorting machine compared to some of the other ones that I will be sorting probably in the future. And I'll be doing more of these videos as I get some of my other bins ready to get sorted. So let's go and take a look. All right, so I'm going to put the bin right here just for a minute so you can take a look here. This is the material that's in here. It's pretty loose actually for this, but it's not one of my really, really good bins. As you can tell, there's tons of card. There's actually pieces of cardboard in here that aren't broken down yet. But I want to run this through and see how it goes. I have, I think, baited most of the worms out of here, but I need to get this empty so I can get a new bin started in this one. So let me turn this on and let's take a look. All right, so here we go. I'm using just a small shovel just to shovel this stuff on. And we'll probably have to sort this a couple of times. All right, so that's our first sort through this. I'm noticing a few worms here. I'm just gonna take off this glove and grab them here. 
I'm gonna put those down in my material down here. There's definitely seem to be getting stuck a little bit on here. I'm wondering if this is not at enough of an angle to get them to sli slide off, or I'm not shaking it properly. Maybe it needs to be shaken a little bit rougher. That might be a little hard to do, but uh, you know, it might be something I need to do is to adjust this maybe this side a little bit more down, and that way it kind of throws it forward a little bit more. So they're really getting stuck even over here on these quarter inch, which I really did not expect. I expected them to make it through here okay. Um, and I think it might need to be a little bit more jarring in a way to, to really get them to go through. Because as you can see, there's a bunch of worms right here that did not make it through. And then I had to shake it too to get everything to fall out. So and there's a lot more worms in here than I thought too. I think I did the baiting like uh, you know a couple weeks ago and I guess more, more worms have grown out of it. So as you can see though, there's a lot that are stuck in here and they're not flowing down. So I need to make adjustments to it. Let me try, let me show you how I can adjust this screen and move this side down a little bit. So that way maybe instead of it being at an angle, you know, like this, I can move it down like that and that way it's kind of flowing a little bit better. So let me show you how that this adjustment gets done. All right, so as you can see here, I've got my makeshift cleat that I need to lower. So what I need to do is just unhook this string and we're not gonna lower it too much, just maybe a little bit. So I've got it notched here at the top. So what I need to do is I need to kind of measure this out. I want to drop it maybe about an inch. So this is right now there's slack in the line on this side and I could push it down. And I'm gonna lock this back off by run, running it around the cleat again. And the reason why I'm doing this just a little bit at a time is I don't know really what's gonna happen if I adjust it too much. I don't want it to just be really, really bad. So let me adjust the other side and then we'll be ready to go here. Now one of the things I do do when I'm doing this is I try to make sure this is as level as possible. It's off a little bit, it looks like, maybe a little bit too high on that side, but it's not too bad. And I do this for the front and the back so I can make sure that this is level, not just tilting to one side and then everything just runs down to that side. Although you could do that if you thought that would work better. So I don't think it will. I think it's better to have it level coming down and nice and level at the end so way things fall off properly. So now that we've made these adjustments, let's resort this again. I probably dropped it about inch and a half to two inches maybe at the, at the end here. So let's resort some of this material and see how it comes out. Now first off, this is the material we got out of it. This is a little bit more than I would like. I don't know if you can see that in the light real well. And it's, uh, it's not quite as sorted as I want. So this is where this is going to go back down this conveyor belt. I'm going to dump it back in the bucket that it was in. We're going to send it back down. Put this back at the end. With the lower angle now, we're going to try the same thing again. Let's get this started and see how it does.
think this the high speed definitely helps. There's still a lot of worms that are getting trapped up here, and I really wasn't expecting that. Um, I thought that they would just sort of slide off with all the material, but instead they seem to be grabbing on, um, which is problematic. I was ho really hoping that this would be a way to sort this, and instead yeah, you can see there's worms up here, and there's you know some little worms right here, and worms here over here and over here, and they are not sliding down like I expected. Um, I don't know if that means I need a steeper angle or a different way of shaking it, like. I think maybe maybe I need to shake it up and down instead of side to side like this so that way they don't grab onto the metal but they get flown off of it and kind of banged off that way. So I might have to play around with this a little bit more as far as how this works but it's still doing a pretty decent job of sorting. There's still more than I'd like coming out this end as far as material. Um, you know, I mean it's better but there's still a lot in here. Um, and this might be just because the material is somewhat moist. There are some good things coming out of here. So as you can't tell here, this is a banana peel. You know, the end of one that should, you know, shouldn't go down into the uh, into the bin in the bottom. So this isn't too bad, but it's it's getting better. But I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more, and we'll have to see how it goes. If you have suggestions of how I could make this better or what might help it, let me know in the comments section here. I'm really curious as to what others might think or want me to try to make this a little bit better as far as the way it's sorting. I think that this can work, it's just a matter of getting it right. And that's that's going to be the hardest part is figuring out with the trial and error what's the best way. I definitely think that speeding it up helped, which I did halfway through. Um, I think the cord might have loosened because it seemed like it was shaking a little slower than it was before. And then I think the angle also helped to kind of run things off a little faster. Alright guys, so these are the castings out of the bottom here and these things are just this is really the black gold you're looking for when they talk about castings. I mean, this stuff is just so light and airy, just flakes apart in your hands. Look at that, I shake my hands and they're clean. And this is what you really want. This is why I built this, is I really wanted to get stuff like this to be able to distribute to some of my neighbors that do gardening, to use in my pots, to use in my gardens. And this is what I really wanted. I mean, this is just such beautiful material. You know, and there are some worms left in here, as you can see. I mean, I. Just, just going through here, I found two worms. So, I mean, you, you can't get them all out. I've learned that um, through years of trying to. But, you know, this at least sorts a good amount of them. I'm not finding a huge amount, you know, hundreds or something like that. Um, although there, there are quite a few in here. Just gonna throw those over on that side for right now. I'm surprised that some of these bigger worms are getting through. But still, you know, this is still a good process. I got a lot of the worms out. They're in a new bed right now. I'm not seeing any cocoons in here either, which I thought I would actually, but those are not in here as well. More worms. And I mean, if I really wanted to, I could sort this one more time and throw it through and see if I get more worms out of the back, but the more of the material is going to come with it. Some of these really, really small worms like this one right here, I'm not surprised at all that it didn't, the machine didn't sort them out into the worm section. But I was really hoping to get some of these, these bigger worms that I missed over there, I was really hoping for. But it still looks really good. I mean, this is just nice, rich material. As I said, this was a, this is not a bin that was run on uh, hardwood pellets or cocoa choir. This was run on, you know, your standard shredded cardboard that I, that I do most of my bins with anyhow. So here's a really big one. This one I'm really surprised fell through the cracks there somehow. So overall, it works really well. I'm getting the material that I want at the end. Could sort a little bit better maybe. Um, I'm gonna have to tweak it still. And uh, you know, but that's 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 what this material looks like. So it's just it's it's just I'm amazed at how good this is comparatively. I mean, like you know, my hands have a little bit of black on them, but I could shake them off, and they are pretty clean except for my fingertips where I'm kind of digging with. But they, that, is, that is just really good material here. So let me know what you think in the comments. And, you know, I'll continue doing this. I'll continue filming it with some of my experiments that I do as I drop this down or maybe shake, switch the shaking angle or maybe change something else just in general. So let me know and thank you for watching.